Welcome to the precinct of 12th Street, where the daily grind of New York City policing meets the dry wit of the unforgettable Barney Miller TV series. As we delve into the charm of this classic sitcom, one might wonder, are there any lesser known facts or anecdotes about this TV series that fascinate you? Perhaps there are hidden gems behind the scenes that add an extra layer to the familiar dynamics of the 12th Precinct. Barney Miller, a sitcom that ran for eight seasons from the mid-70 seconds to the early 80 seconds, left an indelible mark on television. As we explore the precinct's corridors, it's worth asking what nuggets of trivia make this series even more intriguing. Did you know about the improvised moments that became iconic scenes, or the camaraderie among the cast that translated seamlessly onto the screen? As we navigate the precinct's comedic and dramatic moments, reflect on your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this series. We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below the moments that made you laugh, the characters you connected with, or the episodes etched in your mind. So, step into the squad room, join the banter, and share your insights about Barney Miller. What fascinates you about this classic TV series, and what personal anecdotes do you hold dear? Your stories add another layer to the legacy of this beloved show. Let the reminiscing begin. Barney Miller, a classic television series that unfolded its narrative prowess in the mid-70 seconds, emerged as a beacon of wit and charm in the world of sitcoms. This police procedural comedy, cocooned within the walls of New York's 12th Precinct, navigates the daily trials and tribulations of Captain Barney Miller and his eclectic team of detectives. With its genesis rooted in the era's societal shifts and evolving cultural norms, the show mirrored the zeitgeist, exploring themes ranging from the mundane to the profound. The ensemble cast, a masterful fusion of diverse personalities, contributed to the series' enduring appeal with each character, from the deadpan fish to the idealistic Wojo, etching themselves into the annals of television history. The show's unique style lay in its clever blend of humor and humanity, navigating the delicate balance between levity and social commentary. Through its seven-season run, Barney Miller not only carved a niche for itself, but also left an indelible mark on popular culture, influencing subsequent generations of sitcoms and garnering critical acclaim for its nuanced portrayal of law enforcement and the human condition. In retrospect, Barney Miller stands as a testament to the enduring power of character-driven storytelling and remains a timeless gem in the vast landscape of television. Titled as a cop show sans violence, Barney Miller maintained its promise throughout its run, never depicting serious violence on screen. A standout feature was Harris' undercover stint, producing a porn film under the guise of Starry Night Productions. Interestingly, this name found a second life as writer Reinhold Weege adopted it for his production company, responsible for the creation of Night Court. Comedy writer Danny Arnold's structural insight into each Barney Miller teleplay revealed a consistent format, a regular character's story, alongside two external narrativists own involving a detainee, and the other a squad room conflict. This deliberate approach contributed to the show's unique blend of character-driven humor and societal commentary. Unraveling within the walls of New York's 12th Precinct, Barney Miller skillfully navigated the daily challenges faced by Captain Miller and his diverse team, earning its place as a timeless gem in television history. Cliff Burton, the iconic bassist of Metallica, found his musical inspiration at the age of 13 through the distinct jazz bass line that opens the TV series. Chuck Burgofer's memorable notes set the tone for Barney Miller. Interestingly, this bass line not only shaped Burton's musical journey, but also became synonymous with the show's identity. Before and after Barney Miller, Steve Landisberg, a familiar face in the series, pursued a career in stand-up comedy. Landisberg's comedic prowess added a layer of humor to the show, reflecting his background in making people laugh on stage. In the pilot, Abby Dalton initially played Barney Miller's wife, Elizabeth. However, when the show got picked up, Barbara Barry took over the role. The pilot also featured notable actors such as Abe Vigoda, Charles Haid, Rod Perry, Val Bisoglio, and Henry Beckman. These initial cast changes and the diverse ensemble set the stage for the dynamic interactions within the precinct. These behind-the-scenes details offer a glimpse into the multifaceted elements that contributed to the success of Barney Miller. 
From musical inspiration to the comedic roots of its cast, the show's impact extended beyond its on-screen narratives, leaving a lasting legacy in both music and comedy. Gregory Sierra, a key member of the Barney Miller cast, brought authenticity to his role as Sergeant Chano Emanuel. Born to Puerto Rican parents, Sierra was not only a talented actor, but also fluent in Spanish. This linguistic skill became a unique asset for his character, adding depth to the portrayal of a New York City police precinct. Sierra's heritage and language proficiency contributed to the show's commitment to diverse and realistic representation. The early days of Barney Miller were marked by a significant transformation from its original pilot. Titled Barney Miller, The Life and Times of Barney Miller, the initial version featured a different cast for characters that didn't make it to the final series. Except for Hal Linden and Abe Vigoda, the entire ensemble was replaced when the pilot was picked up for its first 13 episodes on ABC. Notably, Val Bisoglio, who portrayed Sergeant Grimaldi, was expected to continue in the new cast, but was ultimately replaced by Jack Suznik Yamana. The decision was influenced by ABC's concerns about Bisoglio's past involvement in adult films, opting for a cleaner image. Sue and producer Danny Arnold's friendship played a role, leading to the reshuffling of characters and desks within the squad room. In the precinct's dynamic atmosphere, Ron Carey, the actor behind Officer Levitt, carved out a distinctive trademark. Every time Levitt exited the squad room, he executed a unique door handling routine opening the door with his left hand, rotating around the edge with his back against it, and then closing the door. This subtle yet consistent gesture became Carey's signature move, adding a touch of individuality to his character. These behind-the-scenes details shed light on the intricate decisions and creative choices that shaped Barney Miller into a standout series of its time. From casting changes influenced by image considerations to the development of character quirks, each element played a role in the show's success and enduring legacy. As we bid adieu to the nuanced world of Barney Miller, let the echoes of squad rune banter linger in the corridors of your nostalgia. This timeless gem has woven itself into the fabric of our shared TV memories, inviting us to chuckle at life's quirks through the lens of the 12th Precinct. As you reflect on the eclectic mix of characters fish, deadpan wit, Wad Shehovich's antics, and Harris poetic musings consider the mirror it held to the human experience. In the hustle of the precinct, amidst the typewriters, and coffee-stained desks, we found laughter, camaraderie, and a bit of ourselves. What's your personal connection to this classic series? Did the quick-witted dialogue resonate with your own life's repartee? Were you drawn to the simplicity of a show that found humor in the everyday? Share your thoughts, your favorite moments, snippets that etched themselves into your TV-watching soul. In a world that often spins too fast, Barney Miller anchored us in the mundane brilliance of daily life, proving that even in the ordinary, extraordinary moments await discovery. So, let your reflections become the testament to the impact this series has had on your journey. Thank you for joining us on this retrospective journey, for reliving the moments that made us laugh, think, and perhaps even shed a tear. Your unique connection adds yet another layer to the rich tapestry of Barney Miller's legacy. Until we cross paths in another realm of nostalgia, keep the precinct memories close, and let the spirit of Barney Miller continue to illuminate your days. Thank you for your time and interest.